Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do a quick update and show you some of the plants that are doing well for me right at the moment, as well as some of the plants that I've picked up here in the last couple of weeks, because you know how it goes when you live in Florida and everyone says orchids. It's kind of one of those things where all of a sudden, oh my goodness, I don't know where this came from. I just bought a new orchid. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and we'll start with this one. This is a brand new Nobly Dendrobium for me. I love these things. I could never get them to grow up in Ohio. So I'm thankful that I'm now down here and I can get them to grow in Florida. Um, this one's absolutely gorgeous. I'll get you the name here. There it is, it's Dendrobian Upen King Serenade. So I picked this up at Home Depot. I believe it was only like 15 bucks. So you really can't beat that price. Um, beautiful flowers, there's quite a few of them in there. Getting a little smashed up in that Calais leaf there. But nonetheless, absolutely gorgeous. No scent that I could detect, but we'll see what happens here in the next couple of weeks. Over here, you'll see the spikes are starting to go to town. Uh, we've got a lot of bud action going on here. Um, some of them are starting to open here. You can see like on this one, they're at the tail end, but they're starting to open. Up there is just a mass of spikes. I'm afraid to move anything anymore. Um, you'll see here, like this one opened up for me. Just a pretty white fowl. Nothing super, super special, just really pretty. And then down here, this one opened up. Let me get you around here. This one is from Norman's Orchids, and I love this one because it's got such a cute little, uh, like a teeth almost on it here. You can kind of see if I put it off the side, and then there's the front. So this is the original spike that it came with, and it has a secondary spike right there. So he's giving me double the fun, I guess, if you will, on that one. All those guys are in spike. Here's a massive spike right in front of me. Every single file I own minus, I think, like two. Uh, maybe three are in spikes, so that's really kind of fun. I'm looking forward to March. March is going to be a lot of fun, lots of color. Even my um, jewel orchid has a bunch of buds on it, so we got one, two, three, four. <laughs> four bud spikes on that plant, so I'm really excited. Five, just found another one. I'm really excited about that. I do love that plant quite a bit. I've had that plant forever. It's probably, aside from the big cat lay that I have over here, this is probably the oldest orchid in my collection. I got it from a gal in Florida. She sent me cuttings in the mail and here we are today. So that's pretty exciting. And I just found a second spike on another fowl. <laughs> so yeah, I guess they're just really loving all this weather. But anyhow, other than that, um, I did grab, like I said, I grabbed this one. I did grab this really cute little Encyclia. This is Encyclia tempensis. And I believe this is the yellow ver or the like the yeah Alba. There it is, the white yellow version. Beautiful little plant there. Everything else I've just either had or I've been repotting because it's been going crazy. But <laughs> oh my goodness, I love these. I found this one today actually, and I could not leave it. It was too beautiful. This is a Nobly Dendrobium. Whatever that says. <laughs> Let me see here if I can zoom in a little better. Yasuko Parade, or something like that. Beautiful, and the scent on it is absolutely amazing. This little guy is super cute. I got this at the uh, Edison Estate plant sale here in Fort Myers. Gorgeous, gorgeous little plant. This is actually from Moats. Moats was not there, but a gal who worked for Moats was, and I grabbed that little vanda from her. Beautiful little plant. This one, oh, love it. No tag though, unfortunately. And this is where the fun is really happening. So this beautiful little uh, wrinkle, or not, excuse me, not wrinkle size, Vanda Stylus opened up for me. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Absolutely love how delicate they are. Gorgeous, light blue, purple. This one is Neophenicia falcata. And then whatever that says, Carulescence or something like that. I'm terrible at pronouncing the names, but this one was so cute and so beautiful. Um, this is the first time it's bloomed for me. Uh, it came with this spent spike here, and then that was months ago. So now we've got this nice, beautiful open spike. Really excited about that. Bangkok Sunset is doing its thing. Gorgeous plant. I love the scent on this one. Smells absolutely amazing. Tons of buds still to go. I'm catching you guys right in the middle of the day. So it's about three o'clock uh, in the afternoon, maybe a little after. And yeah, 3.47 actually. These. Vandas are in full sun. There's the sun, and they are loving it. So, I've got this gorgeous uh, Vanda in bloom here. This is a no ID, but it's beautiful nonetheless. After love it. This is his third time blooming for me. This little guy's on his way out. I believe I featured him in my last video. 
I didn't even see this spike until yesterday. That's my Pachara Delight. I'm like, okay, I'm fine with that. I'll take another spike from you. Love that one. It's super, super dark. Probably one of the darkest Pachara Delights I've ever seen. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Gordon Dillian, the last two flowers are hanging on. This one's already done. Same with this guy. The last four flowers are pretty much done. My Ben's fragrance, all three spikes have opened, all flowers have opened, and let me tell you, this thing smells amazing. This is one of my absolute favorites. Um, you can kind of see here, it's like purple, yellow, pink, all in one, little tids, bits of orange. Beautiful, beautiful flower. Um, this is one thing I gotta get used to out here, though, is all the little spiders that are everywhere, but that's okay, they're keeping the bugs off my plants. So this guy is fully open now gorgeous plant the scent from it is amazing but only in the morning otherwise it doesn't smell at all during the day this is the um, Robert's Delight Black for my friend Kim so the spike is getting pretty big on hers too we're hanging tight down here with it because it's pretty cold up in Indiana so once it warms up a little bit up there I will be uh, sending it her way my epidendrum as you can see here beautiful flowers all over the place on that one rambling craziness Here's my Pat's Delight. I love this one. It's so pretty. It's such a big flower too. It opened wonky, but that's okay. It's still really, really gorgeous. And I do love that flower. Coming over here, a little bit of nothing going on. My Tango Fire is starting to blast its flowers because it's that time, I guess. This is the Robert's Delight times Mimi Palmer. Beautiful, smells amazing. Love this plant. It kind of got hidden behind my Robert's Delight Black, whose spike is right there so i'm really excited about this one i love this plant i've wanted this plant for years i'm super thrilled that both kim and i were able to find one and both of ours are in spikes that's pretty exciting down here is the gorgeous little orange vanda that i got my wife for valentine's day my wife who loves orchids <laughs> she loves the color orange um and she does like my flowers i guess but i knew she'd like this one this is vanda dio and the Numond, something like that. But anyhow, it's just a beautiful little flower. And the reason I got her this one is there is another spike coming right there. So she'll get double the fun, double the spikes, I guess, out of that plant right there. And it'll last quite a while for her. Over here, you'll see that this one is kind of on its way out, but that's okay because there's another spike right there. Same with that one. That one's on its way out, but there's another spike literally directly behind it. So we'll still be enjoying that one for quite some time. Spikes come in here. This is another Ben's fragrance, or Ben's fantasy. This one might be a Ben's fantasy from Bing Jong, but he's got another spike coming there. So excited. It's been a bit since I've seen that one bloom. This one, my wonderful neighbor bought me at the Edison Estates plant sale. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Vanda. Here's the name on it. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Another Fuchs Gold. Memoria something rather times Mimi Palmer. I was hoping for a scent. No scent, but that's okay. The plant itself was gorgeous. And I grabbed this one today, not realizing it was the same as the other one. <laughs> but that's okay, because this one also has another spike right there, plus this one. And I don't know if you can see, that one's super, super orange. This one's a lot paler, more of a peach orange, and I do love the difference. And this one's got some speckling in it too, so lots more buds to come on that. Up here, we're all just kind of hanging out. This one's on its way. I think got some thrips damage. So I'm going to have to spray here, which is kind of a bummer because I hate spraying for thrips because it stinks. But got to do what I got to do for my babies. This one is taking forever to open. I'm like, come on. Any day now, any day now. And I'm sure enough it will. But right now I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, we'll wait. Um, let's see here. If I go up, there's, and there's my spike on. This is, let's see here, Coltana. Brown times Vanda Priorat, Priorat, Moing, Wrath, something or other. It's a beautiful pink. I'll show you the color there. Kind of a double tone colored pink there. Really excited about that one. And then I just saw something that I don't know what it is and I can't get to it because I've got plants in the way. Let me see. Oh, do you see that? That is a spike on my Vanda Blue Danube. That is from Moats. So I just just now saw that that is fun i've been hoping that one will bloom for me his colors look a little funky i think he got a little too cold or maybe too much sun but the new reliefs coming are more green so i'm not too worried about him now coming down here you'll see my spathic lattice are still still doing their thing but i love this dendrobium because this dendrobium has given me so many flowers so i've got these two blooming spikes right now there's another spike right here 
and I believe yeah right here there's one more spike right there it kind of got chewed off at the end by a bug of some sort not sure what kind but I do have one bud left and then I had another spike right here but it got chewed off as well so I was pretty bummed about that but you know these are outside you're gonna deal with things like that so like I said I got a spray anyways so we'll see what happens this guy I'm kind of ready to give up on so I just put him out here he's not done well since day one so we'll see how that goes these are my pineapples <laughs> don't do crazy stuff so I'm really excited about this one I really am I didn't realize that thing was a spike that looked like a stick sticking out there and all in reality it's a bloom spike so that will be fun to see I love that one if you look on Moat's website and type in blue Danube you'll see it's a beautiful beautiful flower so that there is all of these guys but my two Cemeterite Vandas bloom from Moats. So you'll see here, these are the exact same plant, but they are a little bit different in color variation. So let me get out of the way here so you can see beautiful, beautiful flowers. But this one has a lighter lip, although it doesn't look like it when I'm shading it like that. But these guys are doing really, really well. Very excited for them. I absolutely love these Vandas. They are so big beautiful flowers this is a cerulea version of the ludion ludum ludionum i can never say it let me get the tag <laughs> uh where is it there you go yeah this is a, a cerulea it's a blue i have the purple version it's over in a pot on the other side of my growing area and these epidendrums have just gone to town that is not an epidendrum though that is a um jasmine plant actually so but you can see there's epidendrum spikes all over the place um i really can't control these guys they're just going all over the place i actually had to tie some up so they were out of the way and then over here this guy's still going strong so his buds are coming out and these two spikes are getting nice and big and this guy's still going strong so that right now guys is a quick update on my orchids in the collection right now um, this guy's still going strong. I'm really bummed about this one. I was hoping he would have put out a, a kiki by now, a basil kiki of some sort, but he hasn't. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to toss him here. He had crown rot, um, but he's pushing out more things. So maybe, you know, maybe I'll get a kiki off his stem or something. I don't know, but we'll see. And then this is the final one. This is tenebrosa, Catlea tenebrosa, Lelia tenebrosa. And we've got some sheaths here. And there's one over there. You can actually see the buds in that. And this new growth has a sheath too. I have very little problems getting this guy to bloom. Uh, he just kind of does his thing and I'm grateful for that. So that is the update guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any of the same plants that I picked up. Sorry, it's blurry there. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon on our next video. Ooh, little bud sheath. <laughs> so hopefully that blooms too. Alrighty guys, happy growing. See you on my next video.